This story begins as we follow a young 22-year-old Asian-American female, Sydney Allen, as she visits First Choice Dental for a comprehensive periodontal exam for the very first time. She's here to see Dr. Smith. Hi, good morning. Welcome to our First Choice Dental. My name is Houston, and I'll be um, helping you out today. What are you in for today? Oh, well, my gums have been in so much pain. I can't, I can't chew very well. They hurt so much. And I'm hoping someone can help me. Okay, no problem. You are at the perfect place. Can I get your name, please? I'm Cindy Allen. Cindy Allen? Yes. Okay, I see that you are also a new patient. Could you please just mind filling out this new patient form for me, please? Oh, yeah, that's no problem. All right, thank you. She fills out the form. She reaches the social history section, where she is truthful. She admits that she's a heavy social drinker, and she uses marijuana frequently. She carries on to the medical history portion of the form where she explains that she has asthma, she suffers from seasonal allergies, and chronic idiopathic urticaria. She's on medications, Zyrtex for her allergies. She's on Xerithol for her urticaria, and she takes birth control. And not to mention she's on a inhaler for her asthma. All right, I see that everything is completed. I'm about to notify our dental assistant, Sally, and she'll be right out with you in one moment. Is that okay? Yes, that's perfect. All right, thank you so much for your patience. Cindy Allen? Yes, that's me. Hi, I'm ready. Can you come back with us? Okay, thank you. Do you need any music to calm you down, or do you have any questions? Yes, I would love to listen to um, Beyonce. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Okay, so now I'm going to take your items, okay? Okay. Your patient, Cindy Allen, I just took her vitals. Um, her blood pressure is kind of low, it's 98 over 65, but her breaths per minute, it's, it's okay, it's 72. Okay, all right, thanks for letting me know. Hi, welcome to First Choice Dental. My name is Jordan. I am your, gonna be your hygienist today. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay. Okay, are you experiencing any pain or anything? Yes, my gums hurt a lot, and my teeth feel like they're moving. Okay, uh, well, well, I'm gonna go ahead and do a cleaning, and then, um, if I find anything, I'm going to go back and let the dentist know and she'll come out and evaluate for you. Thank you so much. All right, after the procedure. Okay, Cindy, so after taking a look at your teeth, it looks like you may have some signs of periodontal disease. What? Am I going to die? No, you're in great hands. Dr. Smith has been teaching and practicing for 15 years, and she's a graduate of Harvard University. Okay, I feel so much better. All right, I'll be right back. Good morning, Ms. Harry. My name is Dr. Smith, and I'll be helping you today. And with me today, I have student Dr. Milton shadowing me. I repeat on mine. No, that's fine. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, Milton, while looking over the patient's medical and social history, what AS and classification would you classify our patient as? Yes, according to Dr. Glasgow, I believe it's going to be class two. Awesome. Okay, very good, Milton. Ms. Allen, your history of heavy social drinking and smoking marijuana can have a negative side effect on your oral health and could be some of the root causes for your periodontal disease right now. Also, smoking marijuana is also a state of gingival enlargement, erythroplakia, which is abnormal red lesions, chronic inflammation of the gum, and also leukoplakia, which is going to be white patches on your gum. While alcohol consumption can directly lead to abnormal bone loss, and indirectly lead to receiving gums of the due to malnutrition. Oh my goodness, really? Yes, you need to be very careful. Now Milton, when we have a patient that has the heavily drinks, what are the five A's we need to consider? Well, the five A's are ask, advise, assess, assist, and arrange. Awesome. Excuse me, doctor, do we need extra precautions with this patient? Yes, Milton, this patient has asthma, so we need to always make sure the patient is calm to prevent an asthma attack. Also, since our patient has low blood pressure, there is an increased risk of syncope, which is called which is called a loss of consciousness. And is there any side effects to the medication she's currently taking? Yes, Milton. There could be other possible side effects or impacts from the medications on dental treatments. This includes xerostomia, which is dry mouth within the oral cavity, and this may be caused by the habitual inhaler and Zyrtec she's taken. And also, the bed control she's on can cause plague buildup. Plate buildup and dry mouth can cause irritation and swelling of the gum and can impede further treatment. 
And will there be, uh, to piggyback on that, will there be any side effects on the actual treatment or the medication you're going to prescribe? The drugs I'm prescribing today would just be antibiotics, which if taken improperly could cause resistant bacteria. Other than that, there should be no major side effects on the dental treatment. However, once the bacteria is removed, the swelling of the gum should subside and allow for us to do more dental treatments. Thank you. Okay, Ms. Allen, here's what I'm going to do for you today. I'm going to send you home with some antibiotic medication to help with the bacteria invasion, leading to inflammation and recession of the gingiva. Please use this as prescribed, and even if you start to feel better, do not stop taking it until the entire bottle is done. Okay, I can do that. Awesome. Okay, my, also my secretary can help you reschedule for deep cleaning and wood scaling. Most importantly, you have to make sure you brush twice a day and plus at night. I also recommend you start using an antibacterial mouthwash daily so that it will help prevent further or future periodontal disease. Thank you, Doctor. I greatly appreciate it. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Also, before you let before you go, let me write you a medical referral for Dr. Johnson down the street. For the doctor to write this consultation, she will need to include the patient's background information, like name or date of birth, as well as patient medical and dental history and any significant findings such as gum recession. The doctor should also provide any information on dental treatment and the effects therein. The drugs used in the treatment, such as lidocaine or antibiotics, should be mentioned, as well as the reason for the referral request. For this referral, it will be to ensure the medication doesn't need to be changed. Finally, the doctor needs to provide a full description of what we want to know from the physician. Is there any medication that needs to be changed? And if not, what do you recommend for the low blood pressure? Hello. I just got done with my dental appointment and she told me I needed a follow-up. Can you help me with that? Oh yeah, of course. Just let me pull up your information real quick. All right. How does three weeks from today's date sound at the exact same time too? That's perfect. All right, great. You are officially booked and we will see you in three weeks. Thank you so much. Just like that, her appointment's over. And with the onset of the coronavirus pandemic, they're only allowing patients in. So now she's on her way to her friend who's been waiting outside. Denise, Denise. Hi, Sydney, how was your appointment? It was good, I'm so glad I'm done. Did you receive a diagnosis? Yes, they told me I had periodontal disease. Um, I thought I was gonna die, but they said it was okay. And. Um, they told me to stop smoking. What you know, I you know I do that a lot. I know, which you have to quit. <laughs> oh my goodness, and my drinking too. They told me that I needed to see the physician because my blood pressure is really low, and so I have to get that fixed because my medication makes my blood pressure low. So that's where we should go now. Okay, so let's head there now, and here's your prayers. Hello, welcome to Johnson Family Medicine. How can I help you? Hi, I'm here to see Dr. Johnson because I need help with my blood pressure. It's so low. No problem. Let me put you in for a second. And we'll try to get you back there as soon as possible. Thank you so much. No problem. Hi, Miss Allen. Hi, I'm Dr. Johnson. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Well, except for my teeth are a little pain, but... Oh, so what brings you in here today? Well, I just came for my dental appointment and they said I had periodontal disease and my blood pressure was really low. And it's probably because of my medication. Oh, okay. Um, so you're saying it's your medication. Uh, I'm looking, uh, while looking over your file, I saw your medication. It doesn't seem to be the problem. You have one medication uh, that could, I guess, cause some low blood pressure. Mm -hmm. But that medication, I feel like, is keeping you on less prescription. It's mm -hmm. helping with both your uh, asthma as well as your severe chronic uh, urticaria. So I think we should keep you on that. Instead, I think we should look towards changing your lifestyle maybe working out more, maybe changing your diet, and maybe involve a little bit more salt in your diet, as well as uh, maybe cutting back on the drinking and smoking, because the drinking is honestly a common issues for uh, low blood pressure. Oh. So if you cut that back, it could actually, you know, revert these effects that you're experiencing. All right, I'll try. All right, perfect, thank you. Thank you. It's important to remember that in a real dental setting, there would be gloves, there would be more extensive PPE, such as shields and gowns, and excessive sanitizing to prevent the spread of any organism. Thank you. This has been a real clip.